Yeah! Back on the bench with Noisy Boy FPV. So, Kiss Gooey. Let's have a little bit of a look inside the Kiss setup and just how simple it is. And just because it's simple, make no mistake in thinking it's simple and it's lacking. It is not. So we'll connect in there. So here in the top left, you've got your UAV type quad X, obviously. My board is mounted default. And Num you, your motor positions are numbered differently depend on how you install you've got variations so that is pretty straightforward um, receiver protocol TBS crossfire presets or your custom tune I'm running here um, given to me by a chap on, uh, on discord and this is a uh, Sorry, on Drone Nation. Um, this is a, a, a bit of a golden preset. Let's uh, uh, down here is the bottom. These are your PIDs for angle mode. So instead of just having a really basic angle strength, you've actually got a PID controller for angle mode. So there's your maximum degrees of tilt. I like it about 75. If I'm flying line of sight sometimes in angle mode, I do like. Well, it's 60 degrees is your limit look that's not a problem so you basically got a pin profile for angle mode across here you've got your general settings um, you've got your fetec one wire min throttle max throttle min command middle command and your auxiliary function so where you've got an entire modes tab on beta flight what you do is you come across here to your data outputs and get the radio. Welcome. So you go into your uh, outputs channels and you just check in there. You've got your roll and your pitch. KISS does, interestingly, um, default to T-A-E-R, is it? So if your radio is set up with say Rita, what I would call Rita, which is rudder, elevator, throttle, earlier on, um, you'll have to make a new model because this system defaults to tier here. Anyway, throttle, I need to make a couple of little adjustments on my sub trim there, look, so I'm not quite hitting 2000, not a problem. Your perfect, look, nah, it's not quite there, we're at 1005, so I've got a couple of tweaks to make. That's my gimbals shimmering around a little bit there. I might have to set a little bit of dead band. So across here, you've got your calibrate accelerometer. Um, seeing a mode change here. Level mode, acro mode, no horizon mode. Um, if I arm, you can see I've got my auxiliary set there. Just armed, disarmed, doddle. Really nice. Um, so you check your auxiliaries, whichever switch you want to assign. So if you look, my arm disarm is auxiliary number two. So then you would just go back to configuration. And arm auxiliary two, medium is your middle position for your switch setting. So it's really straightforward guys. But we've now got return home, real pit mode, run cam split operation, LED brightness, LED on and off I'm assuming. Buzzer, level, um, and turtle mode, which I've got set up on auxiliary seven. So this is your PID controller, ultra simple. As long as you've got your motor enumeration correct and your UAV type, it is so straightforward. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Don't need to use custom FC orientation because my arrow is pointing forwards. Your control direction, that is, if you check that, that's giving you props out. Then you've got to get into the FETEC ESC configurator. 
and reverse your motors basically, not a problem. We've got launch mode, RX dead bands, but it's not on throttle, so you've got roll pitch in your, get rid of that glitchiness in your mid stick, I'm assuming. Serial configuration, these are just your UARTs. So a serial one that I've got hooked up, it's just DJI, MSP, KISS protocol for an OSD board, blah, 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 a load of stuff in there I don't want to use. There is another UART that could be used for GPS if I wanted to, but not on this little ripper. So you've got black box configuration, it's currently disabled. VTX configuration, I don't need to worry about that, but there they are, dummy VTX, IRC, Tramp, TBS Unify, Evo Crossfire, buzzer emulation, which is your buzzer with motors. Um, your low pass filter settings come default with high. As long as you've got a clean build, you're not gonna run into any problems there. As long as you've got good motors, good props, a nice, tight, secure build, running a high low pass filter setting is, is not gonna be a problem at all. So your filtration comes default at 35, LiPo alarm, I've set mine at 3.5. Um, I'll be running anything from sort of 1300 ma, maybe 1400 ma. I have got some smaller ones, but I've set it at 1000. This is your OSD control for, D for DJI. No OSD all around, bottom, top, left, right, bottom, right, blah, blah, blah. Absolute doddle. Units, Imperial or Metric. I must have uh, altered that earlier, mistakenly. It's in Metric. So, as you rate. And you've got the same sort of thing going on as we built a beta flight so you can preview your rates which is pretty cool hang on i'm orientated the wrong way i'm still the wrong way that's forwards nice fast snappy rates absolutely no bounce back whatsoever so there's your uh, your rc curve what they call on beta flight is your expo so you just check your rates there, check your stick orientations and movements. Um, I was messing around with KISS rates on my Source 1 and it felt quite good and that's what I've gone with there. TPA adjustment, you don't need to alter that unless you're flying into some sort of problems, oscillations. But I've heard it on good authority, you're only getting oscillations if you've got something going on with your build that needs to be addressed. Um, some people say lose the gummies. On the FETEX site it says use soft mounts. I've gone with soft mounts. Um, it can only make sense, surely. FC flasher, doddle. Select remote firmware. Um, see your board check there. The system's recognizing the board that I'm using. KISS FETEX. Version two, but I'm the FETEX KISS FC. Um, there's your firmware versions there. So, on the latest and greatest. So you would just download your firmware and there you go. So it is really super simple guys. Honestly, I can't begin to tell you. Um, your lower pass, pass frequency there is set to high. When you go into your advanced settings, adaptive filter on, notch filter there, I'll just set a default. So that is the GUI. Um, I kind of made the mistake in thinking you're missing features with this setup. You're not, you're not missing features because the KISS system is doing it all for you. It's absolutely fantastic. I cannot tell you how good it is. So we've got COM14 here in the GUI. If I disconnect, still showing COM14. Bring up the FETEC. ESC configuration tool. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Unplug. Power up your ESCs. Get that fan on your Vista. So I've got my quad set here at the side of the middle. Just got the fan blowing on the Vista. Keep things nice and cool. I'm a little bit lazy, I could be doing screen grabs on my laptop and then putting it into edit, but do you know what? The information's still coming through to you. Connect. 
pass through, set up 100%, scanning for devices, boom, you're in. So if you want to flash your FedEx, um, click remote firmware, what ESC have you got? FedEx 45 amp ESC, these are your versions here. I'm now on the latest firmware versions. 1-1.55. One Click flash selected. There's your four. King Gango. It flashes. One thing to bear in mind though, um, every time you flash the firmware on this, you lose your ESC settings. Well basically your uh, your motor reverse. So just bear in mind once you've got set up and you decide to flash, that's just something to think about. So if you go into your settings. So there you've got ESC beeps, slow start, soft brake, slow start, soft brake, just make sure all four match. I've got two and uh, four reversed. So there's your one wire ID, you've got to make sure that that's numerated correctly. ESC one, one wire one, two to two, three to three, four to four and so on. You come across the telemetry. And here, if you just click set throttle, be aware of injury, yeah, the props are off. So you can control motors individually here. And there you can view your ERPM, your current, your voltage, your ESC temperature. So it's really cool that you can view these things. Really nice system, brilliant. So you, you can debug your system. You can look to see if you've got any issues, I'm assuming for noise or any other sort of complications. But you ain't got that in BLLE32. So I'll just give you a quick look into that, that's all really. So that's your settings, straightforward, even more straightforward than BLLE. There's your trapezoidal commutation. That is, this is sinusoidal system, but you can switch over to trapezoidal. But I believe when you're on sinusoidal, the last 10% is trapezoidal, so you don't lose any vital motor KVs. That's your overview, serial numbers, what firm ver versions you're on, making sure it's matching, making sure it's all correct. Disconnect, done. So it is really straightforward guys, honestly. Just let me kick out and reboot. Bear with me one second. All sounds good. So COM14 connect. So wow, what a brilliant system. <clears throat> You know, Beta Flight is good, it's got its time and it's got its place, but now this system has improved immensely. I mean, historically it's always been good kiss, but now it's getting even better. But they've kept it simple, that is the main gig going on here. Let's keep it simple, and they have done. When I first saw this, I thought, because you're used to just looking at that beta flight GUI, but let's face it, what's more important? The way your GUI is laid out, is that more important or the way the craft flies? Because let me tell you, KISS is absolutely 150% bringing it. It is bringing it big time. It's bringing you a quality experience and the craft flies beautiful. So that's the KISS GUI and a little bit of an insight into for you. I thought I'd bring you that. As I learn more and know more about the system, um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you more. I've not set up the idle up um, like Mr. Steel uses. I don't know if there's a need to actually do that. I'll do a little bit more research into that at some stage. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. Super simple. What's there to not like about that? There's your telemetry down there, gyro and accelerometer data. There's your model moving with live data there in the bottom corner. It's 
so if you've got GPS set up, it's all on this page, your home point distance. So you can set up your return altitude. If you get invalid GPS signal, I'm assuming it's just gonna come up there. So that's just how you check it. It's just super simple, absolutely brilliant. There's your calibrate accelerometer. So I just thought I'd give her butchers at that really, to be fair. Um, it will not disappoint. ESC flasher, not available for FETEC, directly off the KISS GUI. So what you've got to do is just download the FETEC GUI. That's all that is, it's an absolute doggle. So that was just a little look at that. Noisy boy, signing out. Yeah! <laughs>